Not at all. I think this is what I like to draw your attention to statement by Chief Justice Alan Rukfi of Spirit Code uh, in, in Ottawa. Uh, it is it is published in National Post newspaper from Toronto on January 30th uh, uh, this year. And he was so mad at the Attorney General, he questioned them as to why for two and a half years they have been uh, using time-killing exercise and fooling around and not bringing the case to trial. And, and the Justice Department could not say anything else except that the, by law they are pro prohibited not to disclose the reasoning to the even honorable judge. So you can imagine what's going on in with, with, with this case with the, with the, with the uh, with Justice Department and how a chief justice is so concerned yet he's unable to get any definite, definite answer on this, on this case because the whole thing is based on political uh, reasoning, not right. on criminal there are, I mean, this is what's so difficult for me to understand, Maboob, is that there are jaywalkers who get trials faster than terrorists. You know, there are people who commit small crimes, you know, break and enter, you know, possession of narcotics, whatever, who get faster trials, uh, quicker resolutions than people who are, like your son, who is still in jail having been charged with bomb making and terrorism, but isn't even had a trial after four years. Why are, why are the jaywalkers and the, the, the petty criminals given speedier treatment than your son? Well, I'm, I'm not a uh, lawyer. I'm not really uh, being an ordinary citizen. I must confess that this was the first time in our life uh, for the last 30 years I have been living, I've been brought up in North America. First time we ever encountered you know, uh, uh, opportunity to go to courts and to deal with lawyers and whatnot. So I, 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 my assumption is that Canada uh, is a beautiful country. People in Canada, they are so respected throughout the world as peace-loving nation. People who are open to communication, welcome uh, people from all over the world to, to, to make up the Canadian mosaic and Canadian uh, nation. And, and there are all opportunities for for growth and development. It's amazing how the Canadian government at the time uh, reacted. Uh, my impression as a, as a, a, a academia is that there was a lot of pressure on Canada from, from Washington to go along with the, the dictate uh, uh, imposed by President Bush and the Prime Minister at the time and his government. They were in minority, very weak, mm. uh, comparing to the previous one, Mr. Gretchen, who, who, who perhaps took a firm stand and refused to go along with uh, President Bush in, in, uh, war, in Iraq or whatever the case was. So here, the government gave in, but now you can see at public level, there's a lot of resentment, concern, city we live in, majority of the people, they have sympathy with us. They are showing their reaction. They are asking the government why Mohammed Kawaja continues to be in prison. Why should he not be uh, released on bail? And people have been writing to the prime minister, to the ministers, uh, judges are questioning. So uh, I think these all developments tell you a different story than the perception and the cases, uh, case being portrayed by the government are the mainstream of mass media because they are aligned with the government, they are paid, they are bribed, they, they get millions of dollars in, in putting up these news stories so uh, you don't get the truth. But we as the victim, I, I, as I mentioned to you earlier, this is the only way we could share what we have gone through because there's no reason for me to lie or, 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 as a professional. I think that that will be very undesirable. Uh, for me or for my family right. uh, to, to do so. Uh, how can you not be angry? Well, well, this is what they wanted to do. That they wanted to uh, uh, drain out our energy to make us, you know, um, uh, uh, mad and, and, and that we, we would lose uh, our, our, our values and, and act in an abnormal way. This is what really people who plan this kind of uh, uh, activity based. This is what they accept, uh, ex uh, expect that victim would behave in inhuman, abnormal way. So they are, they become obsolete. They become useless for the. Well, that that did not happen because 
I've been living in North America as a, as a, since my school days. I uh, grew up there. Uh, I, I think I'm determined we are perhaps better equipped now than we were at that time when we were uh, uh, hit in, in March 2004. Uh, I think this has strengthened my resolve, my wife, my children, that we have nothing to fear. We, are, we, have, not, we have not done anything wrong, so we can cope with the, these issues and problems. And basically, that, that's uh, our belief and our outlook. So it has not really... Uh, although, although we have suffered, there are many times when we went down uh, morally in other, but our neighbors, our friends uh, came in, they helped us, uh, uplifted our morale, uh, encouraged us to stay on th at that track. So, so I think by losing hope, by uh, getting demoralized, we, we could really uh, meet their, their expectations. So on the other hand, I think we we have learned many things, learned to live with courage and determination that we can cope and that we, we have not done anything wrong, that my son has not committed any crime, has not harmed anyone. So this belief uh, uh, that w one day sooner or later he will be free and he will rejoin our family and he will we'll resume normal life. Hmm. Resuming a normal life, that would be something... Uh... Uh, that would be something, uh, wouldn't it? Uh, there are uh, some of us uh, are watching in the uh, chat room, interactive chat room tonight. If you wish to ask a question of uh, Dr. Maboub Kawaja, uh, now would be the time to do that, uh, as he is live on the phone from Kazakhstan. Um, uh, your story is, is is amazing, and what happens, uh, what you've gone through, and the things that you've been through uh, as your family and in your son, and the fact you talk to me and you answer my hard questions. Uh, it seems to me that you, your family seems to embody a lot of the uh, attributes that uh, Canadians, uh, the Canadian government would like to see in Canadian citizens. Um, it's one of those things where I guess you haven't lost your hope, you've kept uh, your spirits up, you believe in the innocence of your son. Uh, do you have any indication at all of how much longer you have to wait until this whole ordeal will be over one way or the other? Well, at this point, it's worrying uncertain because if the Chief Justice uh, of Superior Court could not get a definite answer from the Attorney General as to when would they prepare and have this case, uh, you know, before the uh, assigned judge, I'm not sure as a country citizen I could perhaps uh, uh, speak in any definite term, but I certainly hope that they will realize uh, that four years have gone by, they have wasted time, uh, they are just using this uh, opportunity as a time-killing exercise to delay because they have not come up with any 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 uh, strong evidence against my son. And for your information, as I mentioned to you, the, the opposition against my son were almost similar that uh, they, they pasted against me as well in 2004. And then uh, uh, ultimately the minister denied, the government said, no, we never asked Saudi Arabia to arrest Dr. Kawaja, we never sent any formal request. Right. I have seen the document, <laughs> the documentary evidence is available. So they could play with these things. Also, I want to share with you that during the Second World War, how people of Japanese, of German, Italian origin were taken to internment, internment uh, uh, camps and, uh, yes. and, and in prison, not that they had done anything wrong, but no. simply because uh, of Second World War uh, events, uh, the government in Canada and America imprisoned them, and it took them something like more than half a century to apologize from those people. And this is what once I reminded to the Minister of Security, is that if that's what he wants us to, to do and wait for half a century to no. get a written apology. So, so I mean, there have been many cases that it happened. It continues to happen in America, elsewhere in the world. Uh, uh, but uh, I believe Canada is unique. Canadian people are very uh, nice and, and open-minded. They do not believe that this these acquisitions are true because where, where we live in Ottawa, majority of the people, they express their concern, they, they come to see us, meet us, and, and ask about my son, my own, and my family well-being. So it shows that how people are seriously concerned. They do want to see an, an earlier resolution to this problem, and sooner the better. I hope the government will take notice of this.